33, the city of Burlington is gearing up for its 4th of July festivities and the kickoff is Friday night. Rachel Ellis joins us live with the event details this morning and Rachel, it looks like this show will be a bit different compared to years past. Explain. It certainly is. Good morning to you guys. The Burlington fireworks display is back again after taking a year hiatus due to COVID, though this year it will be after the Burlington Sock Puppets game. Usually it's held at City Park. Now the recreation supervisor for Burlington Parks and Rec says construction at City Park pushed the display near the baseball field. Emily Crowley says if you want the full experience, the gates open at 530 for the Sock Puppets game, which starts at 7. Now if you're just coming for Fireworks, she says it's best to come after 730. Fireworks can go off as early as 915 or later, depending on when the game ends. I think it's kind of like the grand finale for us of the, the past year. We've had to do everything differently and adapt over and over to make sure that we were still providing events for the community. You know, we couldn't do festivals, so we did scavenger hunts. Um, and this is just another way that, you know, we all came together and figured out how to make it happen. The two public viewing spaces for the fireworks and soccer are, are at the soccer and softball fields near the baseball field. Emily says people have plenty of space to social distance there. Uh, however, if you aren't feeling well, you are asked to stay home. We're told there will also be hand, sanita hand sanitizing stations around the park. So guys, it should be a lot of fun. Again, that's on Friday night in the city of Burlington. For WXII 12 News, I'm Rachel Ellis. Thanks so much for that live report, Rachel. The Greensboro Science Center is challenging its staff to try and encourage people to cut back on single-use